Good evening and welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, November 23rd. Today is the Feast of Christ the King. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 93. 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 13 to 22. And please join me in singing verse 5 of Crown Him with Many Crowns. Crown Him the Lord of Heaven, enthroned in worlds above. Crown Him the King to whom is given the wondrous name of love. Crown Him with many crowns as thrones before Him fall. Crown Him, you kings, with many crowns, for He is King of all. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all me, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, you reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. Alleluia. Psalm 93, and please recite together with me. Alleluia, you reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. You establish the world so that it cannot be moved. Your throne is established of old. You are everlasting and evermore. The floods have lifted up. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. You are on high. You are mightier than the noise of many waters. Yes, than the mighty waves of the sea. Your testimonies are sure. And holiness becomes your dwelling forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. You reign clothed with majesty and girded with strength. Alleluia. A lesson from the first letter of Peter, chapter 3, beginning at verse 13. Now who will do you harm if you are eager to do what is good? But even if you do suffer for doing what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear what they fear, and do not be intimidated. But in your hearts sanctify Christ as God, as Lord. Always be ready to make your defense to anyone who demands from you an accounting for the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness and reverence. Keep your conscience clear, so that when you are maligned, those who abuse you for your good conduct in Christ may be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if suffering should be God's will, than to suffer for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once and for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, in order to bring you to God, he was put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit, in which also he went and made a proclamation to the spirits in prison, who in former times did not obey, 
when God waited patiently in the days of Noah, during the building of the ark, in which a few, that is, eight persons, were saved through water. At baptism, which is which this prefigured, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for a good conscience, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, with angels, authorities, and powers made subject to him. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us recite the canticle together. Alleluia, you are worthy, O Christ, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and for your pleasure they were, are, and were created. You are worthy to take the book and to open its seals. For you were slain, and by your blood you redeemed for God saints from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you have made us to be rulers and priests to serve our God, and we will reign on the earth. Worthy is the land to be that was slain, to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might, and honor and glory and blessing. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And may the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.